823, welcome back to Wednesday's BT, final day in January. Maybe those resolutions are waning ever so slightly, so we wanted to re-jumpstart that motivation. Joining us, uh, Executive Chef, Cactus Club Cafe, you know him, Rob Feeney, trainer over at Innovative Fitness, Curtis uh, Christofferson. Welcome to you both, and congratulations, Rob, on a terrific result, because right around New Year's, this photo was posted. Perhaps you've seen it uh, shared on social media when I saw it. I was impressed. 62 pounds, what, six months? You cut your body fat by 20%? Oh, yeah. Before we talk about how you did it, Rob, what triggered the motivation to see a dramatic change like this? A lot of, a lot of factors. I mean, I got three young kids that are 9 and 12 and 13, and I think they were, uh, they were probably three of my biggest. And, and they, were, they, I, they weren't saying much about my weight, but I just knew that it was, uh, you know, I'm 52, and it's like I want to be around for a while. So it was... Uh, it was, a, it was a decision I had to make consciously, and that was, that was, I think that was probably the biggest one. And I just needed to, right? I just wasn't, like, I was like, dude, it's like, you're, like, you're too big. My, and my kids were calling me fat. So, you know what? Like, it's when your kids are calling you fat, it's like, it's time to make a change. That's real love right there from the kids. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, in terms of creating the change, I mean, it's a dramatic result. Curtis, you posted this right around New Year's, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, well, how do we achieve something like this? And for anyone that wants to have a positive transformation, what is the starting point for all of the clients uh, that you? that you train? Obviously, like the motivation to make the change, it's obviously a lifestyle, but you gotta have goals, um, long-term goals. Like fitness can't be a fad, it's gotta be a lifestyle change. So you gotta have the commitment to do it. It was a six month transformation and you know, it, there's still effort after the fact. So if someone's gonna think that they're gonna do it in 30 days, 60 days, it's not gonna happen. So it's having that long-term vision, commitment, discipline, accountability, and then, you know, making the necessary changes, you know, long-term. Well, I've heard you mention before, you can't out-train your diet, so what did you have to switch before we talk about training Rob of how you ate day in and day out how many calories were you eating and uh, what were the food choices like um, oh god uh, well I, I, first of all I gotta start off by thanking Richard Jaffrey the owner of Cactus because I mean he gave me the opportunity to take the time off to do this and as a result of that like I basically from January actually actually this time last year I went away and came back and just I started I've done this a few times before with my diet so I basically just uh, cut out the carbs, um, and when I was away at this camp, and I've had a couple of nutritionists in the fa and nutritionists in the fa in the past, I just reduced my calorie count. So for me, it was calories in, calories out. So I was consuming maybe 1,300 to 1,400 calories a day. Uh, proteins were no longer no more than 30 grams of proteins per uh, sitting. I never ate any complex carbs at nighttime, so it was only uh, breakfast, lunch, uh, breakfast and lunch. And uh, but but it's really about and you know it's funny as a chef you weigh things out so you know having to know what that looks like you know a sweet potato versus a, a yam for example they're both great complex carbs but like sweet potatoes you can eat more of because there's less sugar but you have to be able to weigh that and I've got a particular scale I bought from Bed Bath & Beyond when I was away and I use that a lot to put because I was like oh my god that look because you think that okay that's fine so a lot of it's that but it was a lot of it was watching my calories and then watch and then just working out like a fiend so I was you know I'd be consuming 13 1400 calories a day and then my regular sort of uh, burn factor was about 24, 24 to 2,500 calories a day, and then I'd burn about 5,000 calories a day. Wow! So you do the you do the difference and all that. I was able to lose the weight, and now it's just I just keep. But the great thing now is I can go back to eating the way I like to, but in moderation. For anybody that wants to embark on this journey in the healthiest way possible, how many times a week uh, do they need to train? I, I know movement every day is important, but uh, how serious is the physical aspect? Yeah, I think you need you know, a level of intensity three times a week for an hour each time, at minimum. Um, but when you look at, it depends on how fast you want to reach those results, the commitment, the discipline, and, and the time available. I think you know, at the end of the day, if you can move every single day like you mentioned, um, awesome. But definitely a minimum three times a week to four times a week, you should be moving at a, a level of high intensity so how hard is it to keep the weight off uh, it's you know I think anything is hard but like I'm I like it like Curtis says it's a like this has been a lifestyle change for me and um, it's made me feel really good every day so it's not hard I mean I love food I mean I work I work I work as a chef in a great company so I'm eating all the time so that's that part's never gonna change for me look at this video <laughs> just jacked this is like your Stallone video Wow but but I am um, I I feel great I feel amazing I I, um, I really have to credit 
the two of the trainers that I worked with, uh, Thomas and, and Kevin, these guys were talking earlier. I mean, you know, there were moments where Kevin, you know, you talk about motivation. They're, they'll give you all the motivation in the world, but it's really up to you. I remember sometimes I come in and Kevin was so uh, adamant. I would be like joking around. And he'd walk away from me. They were very committed uh, to their goals and 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 on on everyone. And with me, even right now, I mean, I talk to both of them probably three or four times a week. So this is a a lifestyle change where I had you know Curtis's trainers that were very motivated to make me be a better person and I think that I credit them for even right now how I feel and they they there's lots of things I can't talk about right now that they motivate me with but it's about the fact that I needed to make this change and I mean anyone can, I think if I did it I mean saw what I did I lost basically almost 65 pounds in six months and it was something that you know they they, they give you the tools Curtis and, and Innovative give you the tools and it's up to you to do them and then it's just about balance and a lot of people I know give up but you shouldn't give up and my three kids make me realize every day like I was out for dinner last night and my my daughter was looking at me and I was like was I really fat before because she knew I was going on this she goes yeah you were fat <laughs> and I was like and that I but they're even they're better around me my family's better around me it's like it's just it's but I get to eat like I like I like to eat so well there it is it's more motivation for all of us. Curtis, Rob, thanks so much for coming by and I think there's great value in just having a coach and support network in your life to help achieve goals like this. Congrats. Thanks, man. Loving your cheekbones, man. <laughs> <laughs> really defined. Thanks. This is the first thing my wife said. Look at Rob's cheekbones. Oh my God, no. We'll take a break. More